It comes as no surprise that some Americans are healthier than others. But did you know that your years of education can predict how long and how well you will live? That's even more true today than it has ever been. Over the last few decades, the life expectancy gap between more educated and less educated Americans has widened. Things are changing. Education matters to health more than it did in the past. And this is true, not just for how long we live, but how healthy we live. Disease rates are linked to education. Americans who don't stay in school, now more than ever before, are more likely to have obesity, diabetes, heart conditions, and other diseases. Health disparities disproportionately impact minorities and the poor, but differences in life expectancy by education affect everyone. In fact, although most Americans have enjoyed increases in life expectancy for more than a century, an alarming trend has recently emerged. Life expectancy has actually been decreasing for certain groups with less education. As an example, white women without a high school diploma are now living shorter lives than they did in 1990. There are many reasons that education matters so greatly to health. More education leads to better paying jobs with benefits like health insurance. But that alone doesn't explain the connection between education and better health. More education and higher earnings means better access to healthy food and safer homes. It means neighborhoods with good schools, near jobs and transportation, all linked to health. In addition, children who grow up in struggling, stressful homes or neighborhoods pay a double price. The living conditions disturb their education, but the stress can also cause them to take up unhealthy or risky behaviors, such as smoking or violence, which can affect their health for a lifetime. Not only is education affecting our health, it's also affecting our economy and ability to compete globally. Today's high earning jobs require a more educated workforce. Consider this. 60% of new jobs in the 21st century will require skills that only 20% of the workforce has, according to the Department of Education. The bottom line is that education matters more now than ever. As policymakers struggle to balance budgets in challenging fiscal times, education funding is often the first to get cut. At the VCU Center on Society and Health, our research is designed to help policymakers and stakeholders connect the dots between community conditions, including where we live, learn, work, and play, and our health. Learn more about our research at societyhealth.vcu.edu.